Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today, just before I go through this ROM overview, I just want to give a big shout out to all of our subscribers. We've just passed the 1700 mark, which is pretty impressive. So please do like and subscribe and we'll try to get some more videos for you. So first of all, I'm running this ROM called Moto Blur on the Nexus 4. This is basically a Motorola theme and Motorola launcher on the Nexus 4. So first off, we can see that it has the different icon for the lock screen itself. It has a key and we're just going to unlock that. We're going to take a look at the Android version, which is 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, and it is based on the CyanogenMod 10.1. This actual release was on February 12th. Uh, but it is running on the CM10 base from uh, the 30th of January. So most likely there'll be updates in the future that updates the ROM itself as well as the base. And um, he, the developer hasn't explicitly mentioned any ETAs. So I'm guessing maybe once every week or, or every two weeks there'll be an update where you can just get the latest signage and mod base. So let's take a look at what this ROM brings. So it is running the Motorola launcher, so you'll see that it has these different nav bar icons here, different icons for the actual phone, people, messaging, and camera app. And it comes with this really awesome widget that I haven't seen any third-party widget do. So you basically have the clock widget right here, and clicking on the clock opens up your alarms. And going back here, um, on this side we have the weather toggle that you can just spin around and you can add cities which is pretty dynamic for a widget. And then right here we have battery percentage and we have a quick setting that allows you to show notifications for text messages, uh, missed calls, and voicemail. Now Motorola Blur also allows you to swipe to the left all the way, uh, swipe all the way to the right until you get the add page so you can manage pages over here. So right there I'm just gonna click and add it a blank page. Pinching in also allows you to get a full overview and as usual hold on a page to remove. And now if you swipe to the <coughs> if you swipe to the right, you get the quick settings of Moto Blur. So instead of having the traditional uh, pull down the notifications and then go to the uh, quick settings over here, you have quick settings by simply swiping and going to all settings right there. Throughout the settings, you'll also notice the Motorola uh, icons all around and then it comes with the CM10 icon such as this right here for the interface and profiles. Uh, in terms of features, again it comes with CM10 features as well as the built-in. So for lock screen for example, you can uh, have maximized widgets, you can customize the shortcuts for example for whatever you want to have set up here and we can just go back. And now um, by default it does not come with Google Apps so you'll need to flash the GAPS file that we'll provide a link down below for. And you'll also notice that it comes with, um, you will get the 4.2 camera right there as well as the gallery would be the 4.2 uh, gallery. So taking a look, both cameras do work. The stock Motorola one right here as you can see has a different look, different features as well but some of the visual effects that you can see right here right there, these effects. Uh, some of them would cause the camera app to crash. Some of them actually soft rebooted the phone. So just be careful when you're trying those out. And we're gonna go back. And this is the traditional CM10 4.2 camera that has the uh, hidden controls. And we're gonna go back. And now in terms of bugs, uh, again, this is not um, a very, very um, stable ROM. It is pretty smooth, but there are still some bugs running through, uh, throughout it. Uh, for example, I hit the I hit the um, home button once and it soft rebooted the phone. And also when I um, changed some camera settings, like I said, it did crash. Uh, but in all, it is pretty, pretty smooth to use around and play around if you want a different look uh, from the traditional CM10 or traditional Android stock version. So yeah, that's roughly it for this uh, ROM. I hope you liked the video. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, we'll try to get some more stuff for you.